Hey, good morning everyone. This is another session on palmistry and in this video I will be bringing into focus a comparison of two palms. This is basically you know of a couple uh, right and both of them had certain questions uh, you know mainly around health, money, anger issues, kids and so on and we'll try to see you know what do we get from the palm and we'll go systematically uh, break everything one by one and understand what's really going on uh, with respect to this particular couple right so we will try to understand in detail what are the different things we need to check for in this particular uh, analysis so stay tuned uh, you know I will start with the first with the kids uh, question right so they wanted to understand when they will have kids right what will be the timing what are the chances and anything around that is something what they're looking for so let's try to understand what all we need to look for when we look for kids uh, with respect to the hand obviously kids are very tricky or child lines are very tricky to guess from the palm but there are certain patterns which can help you understand how the journey might be of course this is with respect to my experience and a lot of uh, past historic uh, research um, and text that are there uh, so I have sort of made a structure around that okay so we need to look into the marriage lines we need to look into the Venus Mount Jupiter Mount Venus and Jupiter we know the importance of them when it comes to marriage even in astrology so the same holds true here Ketu Mount becomes very important because Ketu Mount in our palms to a good extent also represents our reproductive system uh, Mars and Saturn yes these planets will also have a significant impact other planets will also have but I feel these are good enough to understand certain aspects so I have kept or limited my session to this of course and then you have vertical marks on Venus which is also uh, an important aspect so with these things kept in mind let's get started now marriage lines in both the hands are good okay they look to be strong so the marriage or the bond is strong which is a good thing right this will uh, improve the chances of a good emotional connect spiritual connect physical connect and that's where the possibility of having a child is high also sometimes we do also look into the vertical marks above these lines to identify whether it's a male female or how many childs are there but because the picture is not very clear we are not able to figure that out but technically you can go above this line this is you can see this horizontal bar this is called as the marriage line and you can see vertical lines over here those at times will let you know how many children male female those sort of details to a certain degree you can get from there now second important aspect which I wanted to check is uh, the presence of the fish symbol in the hand now it's interesting right children can also uh, be mapped with respect to certain symbols for example if you look into the fish symbol in general which looks like this diamond shaped symbol right it it represents a good family life marriage life and stuff like that so if you see in both of the palms there is this presence of fish like symbol it's not completely it's sort of fish right it's not completely a diamond shaped figure right but it's you can see a sort of formation trying to build in and it's coming right between Jupiter and Saturn so this does indicate that there are good chances of having children and family fish symbol does sort of indicate to a certain degree that you know you'll have a good home life family life and children life as well generally right and it also comes through a lot of hardships because fish indicates that the life in general might have been tricky or difficult right so the presence of the fish symbol or the formation of the fish symbol indicates that the couple might have gone through a difficult journey to begin with right uh, as ch as children and so on but they are finally being able to form follow a good spiritual path and that's where things are coming back to them so the presence of partial fish in both of their palms indicate that you know there are good probability of a children coming to their life 
and a lot depends on their spiritual destiny their spiritual learning right because ketu is the planet which is associated with fishes a lot now this means that if both of these people together are able to overcome a lot of their issues a lot of their lessons uh, you know uh, children will come into their life you know a lot of a lot depends on their spiritual intelligence spiritual growth etc right so i feel looking into the hand that they have to as a couple learn few more lessons on the spiritual domain and once they do that you know they will be gifted with children right and already the presence of fish symbol is coming in this also indicates that certain lessons are also are already also learned so this is something which is positive in the hand now apart from that we have to also look into the venus mount when i do look into the venus mount you see here also the line is sort of not very curvy as i would want right here also the line is not very curvy it looks sort of straight so venus is definitely under pressure for both of them right which does signify that you know um somewhere shukra is not very appeased by them and because of which there can be a delay right so obviously when it comes to kids uh, and when especially venus is under pressure there are good chances that there can be a certain delay uh, so this is another important piece of information that we do get looking into both of their palms so there is a delay now obviously some of the remedies indicates chants of shukra for example om shukray namaha or you know helping the feminine forces because shukra represents a lot of female influences deity and stuff like that it also indicates that as a couple they're not able to have too much fun adventure and enjoyment in life they're taking things way too seriously right they need to have a sense of enjoyment pleasure uh, right those sort of notes are still not hitting they're somewhat taking life way too seriously so venus has to improve they need to go out have more adventure have more fun right that sort of a vibe has to come in and settle it right so that is what uh, you know venus is also creating certain pressure so there can be so i do feel kids are there because the fish symbol is coming in but venus will create certain delays okay coming to the jupiter mount jupiter is fairly strong in this particular person's palm and when i look into this person's hand jupiter is very very strong in fact you can see the jupiter finger is taller than apollo so definitely the blessing of jupiter will be there meaning to say that both of them will be very goal driven they will have strong will power jupiter gives you strong will power jupiter gives you good gurus now they can be physical gurus or mentors so they might have good mentors they might have good people around them who might guide them you know uh, and they will have strong will power so when it comes to uh, kids also and stuff like that you know even if there are problems etc they will be able to uh, have a higher will power to make things work stuff like that so jupiter is adding a positive layer of blessing and uh, when jupiter is strong uh do venus is causing delay some amount of the delay will be compensated right so net net venus is causing a delay right mathematically let's say it's uh, causing a delay of like 5 to 6 years but then jupiter is reducing it because jupiter is strong uh it the delay might be of 3 to 4 years only right so that is how you will have to map third you will have to look into the ketu mount now when i look into the ketu mount definitely ketu is pre under pressure under both the palms right it's not like it's very smooth it's not like you have a single vertical line there it's random over here and it's slightly random over here as well which means that though you know see it's a mixed feeling right you have a fish symbol which means you are able to move in the right direction but again there are more things Uh, to be taken care of sometimes um, when ketu is under pressure it can also indicate that you know the reproductive organs are also under pressure and you know there can be some delays because of that as well so again looking into the ketu mount specifically i do feel that again it adds to a bit of delay uh, that can be there okay now next we look into the mars and saturn mounts as well saturn is strong for both of them right and saturn is a planet of delay 
So as Saturn is strong, again we see a delay coming in. Mars is also strong for both of them. You can look how protruded the Mars mounts are. Mars is over here and Mars is over here. So again, there will be a delay. So net net, what we can see is that kids are there, children are there is what I feel because the fish symbol is coming. But most of the other planets are definitely suggesting a sense of delay that can come in. The best way to reduce this delay, in my opinion, is to improve Ketu and Venus. Uh, for Venus, you can go for Om Shukra and Namaha. That's the simplest thing to begin with. And for improving Ketu, become more intuitive. Uh, Ketu is a planet of uh, intuition, letting go of your ego, uh, thinking from your heart, going inward into yourself. Right? Ketu is all about the inward journey. Jupiter is all about the external journey. Okay, Jupiter is like, you know, I want to have this, that, or they have mentors who can scale them. But Ketu tries to find the mentor, uh, mentor within. It likes to go within themselves. So as a couple, they need to go within themselves, right? And uh, figure out that journey. They, do, they have to be more intuitive is what I feel. Uh, they have to improve their Venus. So they will have to go and have more adventure, more fun in life, right? And to reduce Saturn effect, they don't have to take life way too seriously, right? With these small, small adjustments, Coming into picture, I think uh, there the delay can be reduced. So that is how you will have to map from the hand, right? So hopefully you got how to map kids from the hands. Also, if you have a lot of vertical lines, as you can see, there are vertical lines on Venus uh, over here as well. This also improves the possibility and poss and uh, you know it's, it's a positive impact that creates on the possibility of kids. So net net. Yeah, that is what the picture I get when I talk about kids. Second, anger issues. See, anger issues are likely to be high because you see how protruded this part is and this part is as well. So both of them will have an angry temperament. They need to calm down. They need to be not too confrontational. See, marriage is not about too much confrontation, too much fight. It's supposed to bring in comfort. It's supposed to bring in nurturing, right? So if you have too strong Mars, it's like, you're battling each other out, you're being competitive with each other, which is not really good because marriage is more of companionship, enjoying the vibe, having fun together, adventure together. So they both need to stop competing, stop being too confrontational when it comes to marriage and start being more uh, loving and caring towards either, each other. So that is um, uh, the anger part. Obviously to reduce that, Mars to, to improve Mars, they can chat, chant Ram. The chants of Ram, Ram, Ram can really help them improve the quality. Okay. Next question is with respect to money. See the very strong job line over here, very strong job line over here. In fact, two job lines over here, very strong Jupiter, the presence of fish symbol, etc. So I do feel wealth, money in general will be good for this couple, right? They will do really well. They will have enough money to survive. They have enough drive because Jupiter is so, so strong. Both of them are very ambitious, very driven in life. So they will have all sorts of comforts, luxuries, etc. Home, vakera. But, you know, the vibe at the home, the relaxing vibe, those sort of things have to be moderated and bring uh, brought to check. Health is another question. I think here most of the lines are good. So uh, in this hand, I don't see any major health issues, to be honest. In this hand, because Jupiter is so strong and the lines are slightly delicate, uh, the person can, you know, uh, and, and the sensitivity is high, there can be some pressure in general. Um, the health can, nervous energy and nervous related health problems could be there. But apart from that, nothing significant that I do see. I think both will remain fairly healthy as well. So this is my take on some of the questions uh, that these couples had and I also wanted to present it to you guys for you also to understand how do you compare the hands, how do you see the journey, how do you see, you know, uh, with respect to certain common points that they had, right? They had questions around kids, anger issues, money and health and we sort of tried to decode it in a systematic manner, right? So palmistry also in general is very, very accurate. It all depends on what level of detailing, what level of intuition are you trying to put in, uh, right, while doing a reading, the more you put in, the better would be the result in my experience. 
Hopefully you got few more insights from this video. I'm Shwetang into Palmistry. Do reach out to me for a reading. Take care. Bye bye.